one of my favorite things is collaborative Google Slides. That's where all students are on the same Google Slides. You give them edit access to the one Google Slides. So if you already have a Google Slides, click on add and go to Google Drive. Now you're going to be able to find your Google Slides right here in Google Drive. Select the Google Slides that you want to collaborate on with students and it is linked now here in the assignment. Now you'll notice that the default is students can view file. You want to switch this to students can edit file. It's this middle option that is students can collaborate as opposed to make a giant pile of paperwork for yourself. What? Let's collaborate and reduce paperwork and work together. So this middle option, students can edit file, means collaborate and we're going to do this together. Now before you assign the assignment, go ahead and click on the link to launch the Google Slides that you're going to do with students. Go to the file menu and under version history, you want to name the current version. And I want to name this version template so that before I share it with students with edit access, that they're going to be able to do things on it and I can revert it back to the state it was, back to the template so I can reuse it again next year or just if anything goes wrong, put it back to the way it was. Now I'm just going to close this. It is linked in Google Classroom. This is not really an attachment. It is in Google Drive. This is my link to the file in Drive. I simply need to close it. I want to make sure that it says students can edit and then I can click assign.